be surrounding a Pulaski County Circuit judge. Judge Wendell Griffin issued a temporary restraining order on the drugs used during the executions. But shortly after that, he demonstrated in a protest of those executions, which has sparked calls for him to step down or even be impeached. Today, he spoke exclusively to Fox 16 about his stance on this issue. Fox 16 Charmaine Nero takes a closer look. It's been one day since our crew spotted Judge Wendell Griffin outside of the governor's mansion, protesting the scheduled executions. But many lawmakers, like State Senator Trent Garner, questioning whether Judge Griffin's act of protest threatened his ability to be fair and impartial when dealing with capital punishment lawsuits. Making a public statement of protest for the governor's mansion is unacceptable. It's a disgrace to the judicial system. Judge Griffin would not talk about the specifics of the case, but says he is aware people involved in the case believe he is crossing the line by protesting. The job of every person who's in the justice business as a, as a judge is to first of all honor the law. Attorney General Leslie Rutledge issued a statement saying it is past time for the victims' families to see justice for the horrible murders of their loved ones. We do not lose our humanity with the oath. As a matter of fact, we can only take the oath because we're human. A spokesperson for the Attorney General's office says she is optimistic the Supreme Court will vacate Griffin's temporary restraining order. Judge Griffin says he can't discuss the case just yet, but is confident his ruling is lawful. The judge never loses his or her humanity. And the judge, as judge, never forgets that the law has to be followed, no matter how he or she feels about a particular issue. Now, Judge Griffin did mention he would be able to talk about why he issued this temporary restraining order, but only after this case is over. The drug distributor, McKesson Medical Surgical Incorporated, has also opted to drop its own lawsuit, which prompted this temporary restraining order, claiming it's no longer necessary because of the federal judge's order to halt the executions. And while those court proceedings affect all scheduled executions, a third legal issue centers around the case of Bruce Ward. The Arkansas Supreme Court issued a stay in his execution. However, the high court did not cite any reason for the stay. Ward has been on death row since 1990 for strangling a Little Rock convenience store clerk. The attorney general's office filed a motion today with the court to reconsider that stay. And this story 